In recent years, experts have pointed out ways to use water more efficiently. One is to apply drip irrigation instead of flooding the farmlands. Another is rainwater harvesting, which captures and stores water for later use. The UNEP study highlighted water pollution as the biggest threat at the moment to people and the environment. It recommended urgent and sustained action to reduce pollution. So the, we emphasize the pollution here. It's because the pollution is the impact which can control by human beings. Some water users in the Yellow River Basin feel that pollution issues are finally receiving attention. In the coming years, however, water users across this basin will simply have to get used to the Yellow River carrying less water. A number of factors have contributed to this decline, including the diversion of Yellow River waters further upstream. Scientists confirm what ordinary people have noticed. Temperatures are slowly going up, while rainfall is reducing in many parts of the river basin. Lakes and wetlands are shrinking in size. For this and other river basins in Northeast Asia, the UNEP study has strongly recommended what is known as integrated water resource management. That basically means the different institutions must better coordinate what they do with the river's waters, when and how. Unless we deal with this whole, these issues together in an integrated manner, and it is uh, not easy to tackle the water resource issues in this region. And climate change, this will be the big challenge in the future. This is not easy when there are many competing demands on a river's waters. Few river users think of their impact on others downstream. So technically, we recommend the uh, uh, ingredient of water resource management for whole river basin. But how to uh, manage the river beyond the administrative boundary, it, it is still a challenge. For a decade, the Yellow River Conservancy Commission has been doing this difficult balancing act. China's example can set the tone for the whole region. In Northeast Asia, I think China's leadership is very important. As we all know, China has a rapid growing economy and with huge population. And so uh, if China alone could practice the water resource efficiency, efficiency and increase the water resource efficiency, then it will have a great impact to not only to the Northeast Asia, but to other uh, countries in Asia region. No one can predict all the effects that climate change would have on the water, land, and ultimately the people. But countries can prepare for these challenges by taking better care of their water.